Hi guys, we're going to do a little bit more with solving for angle measurements with our parallel lines and our transversal. So as we talked about in our last video, we know that if I look at these two, if line L and M are parallel, then this line right here, which is line N, is going to be our transversal. Now that means 1 and 3 are going to be equal because they're vertical angles. 3 and 8 are going to be equal because they're alternate interior angles. And 8 and 6 are going to be equal because they're vertical angles. Now that means in the same way, the other four are going to be equal. So it is helpful to do that once you're trying to solve these. Now they tell us down here that angle, the measure of angle 3 is 120 degrees. So you know this is 120 degrees. So that means any other one that is that same color shares that same measurement. So 1 is going to be 120 degrees. 8 is 120 degrees. And 6 is 120 degrees. Now, we also know by looking at these that if I look at angle 1 and 2 together, they make a straight line. So these two together have to equal 180 degrees. So remember that means any blue one that I shaded in blue and any pink one, those together are going to have to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so that means if this is 120, then this one over here is going to have to be 60. So that means angle 2 is 60 degrees. That means any other blue one is going to be 60 as well. So that means 4 is going to be 60. 5 is going to be 60. And 7 is going to be 60. So again, if you know one of the angles, then you can go through and find the other ones. Okay, let's take this a little bit farther and add some algebra into it. So let's say that I have something like this, and it says find the measure of each angle. So if I'm looking at it, this right here and this right here are going to have to be equal because they are vertical angles. So if they're vertical angles, then you know that they're equal. So that means that 3x plus 20 is going to have to equal 10x minus 15. Now, they want us to find the measure of each angle. So our number one thing first is to actually go through and find the x. So if I start out, if I have x's on both sides, I'm going to move this x over on the other side. So I assume that's positive 10x, so I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides. So negative 7x plus 20 cancels. You're left with negative 15. Then I want to move this over here. So if it's positive 20, I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. So that cancels. I'm left with negative 7x and negative 35. So the last thing I would have to do to get x alone is divide by negative 7. So x is equal to 5. So that's important to know, but now I actually have to plug this in to see what that's going to be. So if I have 3x plus 20, and I am going to take out the x, and I'm going to replace it with a 5. So if I go to do this, that means it's going to be 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 20 which is going to give me 35. So if this is 35 degrees, that means that this one also has to be 35 degrees because they're equal because they happen to be vertical angles. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a piece there that we're trying to kind of deal with. Um, let's try one more. This one, they just want us to find N. So if I look at this, I can see that these angles together make a straight line. So that means if I add this and this together, they're going to have to add up to 180 degrees because that's a straight line. Okay, now we do have a few things we can do. We can put these two together. So 4n plus 8n is 12n. 
And then I can put these two together. So positive 22 and negative 10 is positive 12 equals 180. Okay, now I've got to work to get n by itself. So I'm going to get rid of the 12 right here. So that is adding 12, so I'm going to subtract 12. Cancels, I'm left with 12n equals 168. And then divide both sides by 12. And I get n equals 14. Okay, now if I wanted to know what these angles were back here, either this one or this one, I could take n and I could go plug it in here or here and solve for it. Okay, we'll come back and deal with a few more.